What's up guys? Happy New Year and welcome back to another edition of Skate Park Lessons with me, JB, here at the Sunnyvale Skate Park. And today, I'm gonna teach you guys how to backside board slide. Let's get it. Board slides are a fun and easy trick on almost any obstacle. They're usually one of the first tricks you'll learn on rails and ledges. To do this, it helps if you can skate comfortably, ollie, backside kick turn, and frontside power slide. Here's the things you should do. Pick a lower ledge you know you can get onto without having to ollie much. And if you're still learning your ollies, pick a ledge that's lower than your front wheels when you're standing on your tail and your wheels are up in the air. That way your front wheels can clear the top of the ledge and you can lean onto the ledge. Be sure to start small and only slide the last foot of the ledge. Try to land in the center of your board for better balance and to help you get a better slide by keeping your front wheels off the top of the ledge while you're learning. Your body goes where your head goes, so this is the most important thing, to keep your head forward so that you don't slip backwards and fall. Always commit to landing on your rail or ledge when learning this. Go fast enough to create a slide that'll carry you off your ledge or rail and into your landing. More speed makes your slide easier and more predictable. The pro tip for this lesson is to use your hands and slide your skateboard back and forth on the ledge or the rail to get a feeling if it's gonna slide or not. You can use a candle to wax a sticky ledge or rail, but be sure to start light as you can always add more wax after. It's important that you wax any contact points that touch your skateboard. This includes the ledge corner, your front wheel slide spot, and your back truck wheel spot. Here's the things you guys shouldn't do. Don't change your mind once you ollie in the air for your board slide. Do not lean back. Don't go very slow when you start to commit to your board slide landing. You'll need that momentum that comes from your speed to power you through your board slide and into your landing. Here's the simple steps for your board slide. Lay your board on the corner of a lower ledge and begin to practice your kick turn off to mimic your landing. To do this, place your front foot on first over the bolts and back foot on the tail. Toes matching so you're in riding position with your knees bent. Now wind up your shoulders like a kick turn and swing your shoulders into a kick turn off of the ledge. This can be a little tricky when your wheels are up against the side of the ledge, but your goal is to kick turn off with your shoulders matching your feet and your skateboard and your knees bent. Make sure to turn backside first so you can spot your landing easily and land with your head over your front foot. Next, you wanna ride into a small ledge with medium speed so that when you ollie, you get your front truck and wheels up on the top of the ledge and body set, knees bent. Set your body weight with strong legs so you can easily stay balanced on your board. Now from this, you can add your kick turn off of the ledge. Remember to swing your shoulders hard and lean your head into the direction that you wanna land. Remember that it's easier to turn off the ledge when your back wheels have some distance from the ledge. Now you're ready to learn how to approach the ledge, get on, and run off safely. Now start back far enough from your ledge to push and get into medium speed. Get your feet set in ollie position while rolling parallel to the ledge a couple feet away from the ledge. Slightly turn into the ledge and pop your ollie so that you only land on the last foot of the ledge. Land on top of your ledge and importantly, head leaning forward. This will allow your momentum to pull you forward and into a leap off of your board. So you can allow your momentum to pull you off your board and forward and into your run out. Now you can run out of a ledge by taking your back foot off first once you get on the ledge, or if it's on a rail, commit to landing on the rail, knees bent, and allow momentum to launch you into a leap forward off of the rail. When these things become comfortable, start to try your board slide faster, landing with your legs strong, head forward into your slide, and really bend those knees to brace yourself to power through your slide. Use your shoulders to kick turn out when you get to the end of your slide. Now land with your knees bent and shoulders matching 
for added stability as you rolled away. As you guys get more comfortable with your board slide and you're ready to begin to slide on the ledge, this is when you start to get on the ledge earlier so that you slide a longer distance and work your way up incrementally to a longer and longer board slide. For really long board slides on rails, as you set your weight with your knees, you use your arms like a balance beam and you lean your head back and forth to keep your balance and you can feel your skateboard rock back and forth on the rail. This is especially important for round rails. A lot of guys like to learn to board slide a rail off of a bank first. Remember to go fast, get your feet set up, pop that ollie, and commit to getting your head over top of the rail and landing on your board with your knees bent and head forward. The more trust you build in your board slide, the faster you can go and the longer you can slide. Just like rolling down a bank ramp, your body goes where your head goes, so make sure you're leaning to match the angle of the object you are sliding on. This means when you're board sliding down a rail or down a ledge, that you're going to have to lean to match the angle of the rail or ledge. This here's Jay Kotke. He's one of my best friends and past students from 11 years ago, and he's gonna help us demonstrate some different board slide techniques. <laughs> the next related tricks to this are gonna be, for beginners, board slide to fakie. For intermediate, nolly and fakie half cab board slides. as well as front side lip slide and front side lip slide to fakie. Examples of advanced board slides are gonna be switch backside board slide, switch backside board slide to fakie, and variations of flip tricks in and out of your board slides. For tricks in and out of board slides, it's important to make your catch before you get into your board slide. So pop your board, do your flip trick, catch it, then land on the rail, then into your slide. Thanks again for watching another edition of Skate Park Lessons. I hope you guys learned your board slide and have a better understanding of how to do it. Please share this video with some friends who you think would benefit from it and they'll appreciate you for thinking of them. Please leave me your comments, including any questions you may have, ideas or lessons for future videos, and feedback about this video, so I can continue to do my best to help you reach your goals. Please hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and catch me back here for another edition of Skate Park Lessons.